Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hello everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. As you've probably heard me say, as we get closer to the release of Boeing's new middle of the market airliner, more and more important details will start being revealed by Boeing officials during press interviews and more. In an earlier video I published just a few days ago now, you recall me saying that Boeing expect the units sold of the 797, which is what the middle of the market airliner is dubbed to be, in the thousands. And that claim is now probably looking likely, with the Boeing Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing revealing to the French press that currently Boeing were in talks with more than 60 airlines in regards to the configuration and design features of this middle of the market airliner. In fact, he said specifically, we're working on several aspects, like the life cycle cost of the airplane and the supply chain, not just the range or capacity. We want to make a revolutionary airplane. The main competitor to Boeing's new aircraft is of course the A321 series, an aircraft currently expanding with different variations to suit different carriers' needs. Just recently, Airbus were proposing the possibility of the A321 XLR, or A321 Extra Long Range. This proposed aircraft would better compete with the Boeing 797 in the future. However, the Vice President is adamant that the Boeing 797 would stand out from the A321, and said, We will offer the same comfort as you can find on a 777-300ER in a 220-seat twin aisle over a 5-7 to seven hour flight. The A321 is a single aisle and will fly more than 7-8 to eight hours. What we can take from these comments is that the new middle of the market airliner which Boeing will be offering seems to have caught the eye of many airlines. Thankfully we already know some airlines which have confirmed interest, like Delta, Qantas, United and potentially more. Delta in recent months have expressed their desire to be the launch customer for the aircraft. However, despite the excitement, these discussions will, I'd say, certainly determine the success of the program, with again, in recent months, the story coming out that Boeing would need to adjust their cargo area on the 797 in order to attract buyers from the Asian market. As we know, this is a critical market for the manufacturer, and the majority of orders could potentially come from here. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams and flight, and we'll fly.